A little tip from Downtown Dan that I like to uh, do in Illustrator. Uh, I'm combining a couple different jobs. These are the backs, uh, yoke areas. Um, so on one job, it's just the one color black, and on the other one, uh, two other jobs, it is a uh, multicolor on dark shirt. So there's an underbase. So on that, you know, I've got the three colors here at the top, and um, I don't need these, so I'll just highlight them and change those to computer white. So they're not going to print out. And then you see um, I got the different job numbers on here and those are in registration black. So they're going to print on every separation. Um, these I've changed to the spot colors that I'm actually wanting to print. So this area I have has a spot color up here. And so what I want to show, well, let me point out one other little thing here. This is uh, a teal 3268. Well, I'm using pink 182 up here on the separation, but in order to save a separation and printing film, I actually labeled it the teal up here because I'm going to cut these apart so that, you know, they'll be like, that section um, and then I change this to the uh, pink so that it comes out on that separation and, and I won't have to mess with loading up another sheet and changing the document size and printing out just this wildflower job by itself so because it's black type also I'm just adding it onto my base white and the black screen so what I really wanted to show you was a little quick thing I do. There are other ways to do it. And uh, one quick one is if all of this is black and I select same fill color, I gotta get rid of that. And um, And then, where was I? Changing the blacks. So all of this is uh, select same fill color and you see that this color is not showing up black. It's because I copied it from another file. I've already changed this one to the spot color blacks. So I have to make sure that all the blacks in here are actually being used on this one. So I can double click on this and change that color temporarily and click on preview and then I can see what areas in the artwork are not captured and changed to the spot color black. So I'll click OK then select these two and change them to that spot black and select this select same fill color and change that to the spot color black. So now I can see that everything that's supposed to print out in black is actually printing out in that one spot color black. Now I can go back and change that and then check my preview for separation. Everything on that separation looks good. Check the, uh, the pink. Everything's coming out on that. And then check the base white. That's all good. Uncheck separation preview. And I can delete the background and then I can go to print my colors. So I use um, Accurip in the Epson 1430 kind of the bottom of the line film printer but it works and then uh, I changed this to 13 by 19 
I have got a few different jobs ganged up on here. Do not scale. Marks, nothing. Change this mode to separation. And then what you see in process here is more likely going to be the registration marks. Sometimes they read in CMYK. Uh, because it's made up of CMYK, but it's assigned to print on every separation. So I just leave, I turn those off, and I leave the three spot colors that I want to print. It's solid art, so I don't have to be concerned with the uh, line screen or the angle or the dot shape. I'm not printing any half tones on this. And then I just click print. And that's that.